Your ability to effectively communicate will determine your levels of influence in your career. And if you want to build a better career, then you have to be influential. And in this video, we're going to talk about three ways how communication skills will help you to build a better career for yourself. Let's get right to it. The definition of communication is the exchange of information, knowledge, or news of some kind from one person or party to another. Now, the key word there is information. Today, we live in the information age. Our entire world is comprised and made up of information at your fingertips. And the effectiveness of how you are able to deliver information and effectively communicate within your organization or your business or even your friend circles and relationships will determine the quality of your life in those areas. Strong communication skills will help you in every single area of your life. And in this video, I want to give you three specific ways that communication will help you to build a better career for yourself. If you're looking to build a better career, then that means that you're looking to rise up in the ranks of the company or the organization that you're with. Building a career means continuing to rise the ladder and continuing to add and build value with those around you, your employees, your bosses, and those on the same exact level as you. And the first way that communication will help you to build that better career is communicating once you rise up the ladder tends to be to a group of people more often than not. A lot of your communication might still be one-on-one. -on -one. It might be one to two people. You're trying to influence several different people to take an initiative or influence them to do something that's good for them, you, and the company. And let me tell you, if you're not able to influence a group of people at once, and a group, by the way, is anything more than two people. That is considered a group of people. If you're not able to influence a group of people, then you're only going to be able to get so far unless you're totally on the operational side of things but even people in those positions are finding themselves in the situation where they have to improve in their communication ability to a group of people we call this public speaking and public speaking, I don't know if you know this, public speaking is the number one fear. I believe it's technically the number two fear because death is the number one fear. But people are almost as afraid of public speaking as they are of dying. That blows my mind, but really it's not too surprising because I used to be somebody who was worried about and anxious about speaking and influencing and communicating to a group of people. I remember the first time I ever spoke to a group, my hands were sweaty. I was literally like sweating like bullets off my forehead. Like you could see visibly the sweat. I know it sounds gross, but I'm sure you might be able to relate to this. And it was only to a group of about 10 to 15 people. And I was just so freaking scared. And I actually made a video that might help you in this area. I'll link to it up here. It'll help you to become a more dynamic public speaker so that you can effectively give these talks because let me tell you public speaking is a skill just like anything else the more that you do it the better you will get even if you're not a natural communicator like the first time I ever made a video like this to communicate a message to you who's watching this video I was nervous just as nervous as speaking to a group of people right it's very different speaking to a camera than speaking to a person and just like this is a skill speaking to a group of people inside of your organization is a skill as well and you'll get better with it because the better you're able to communicate to a group of people the better you're able to communicate to one and the more it will get you noticed the more valuable you'll become and the more able you'll be to build a better and a stronger career for yourself now hold on just a minute I just noticed that you weren't subscribed to the channel so go down here hit that red subscribe button and then next to it hit that bell when you hit the bell, you're turning on notifications so you see all the new videos that we release on this channel every single week. Now let's get back to it. 
The second way that communication will help you to build a better career is generally the more you rise in a company or an organization, you're going to have to solve more problems. The more people are going to come to you with issues and even drama that you have to help them through. People will stop coming to you for just work advice and people will start coming to you for life advice. And communication skills will help you to have those types of conversations with people. It will help you to help them solve their problems. Because as a leader, as someone who wants to build a better career for themselves, which is who you are because you're watching this video, your ability to have those one-on-one -on -one conversations will mean the difference between you staying where you are and you rising up continuously in the ranks to continue to add more value. The better you're able to help others solve their problems and add value to other people, and even to have the difficult conversations with other people, the better your career will be. And this is the thing. We never want to have a difficult conversation. Even when you're an incredible communicator and it becomes second nature for you, it's always difficult to sit down with somebody and talk about something that they did or talk about something that they didn't do or discuss their performance or bring up something that's a tough topic to talk about with that person. But the thing is, we do it because we're leaders. We do it because we want to build a better career. You know, you're probably in like the top 3% of the world who wants to continue rising up in their company and who wants to improve their life and to be more. It's all I talk about normally, it's personal development. You want to continue to grow so that you can continue to build a better career for yourself. And the fact that you're watching this tells me that you believe communication is important. And communication and you growing in this area by reading books and by doing it and by practicing and by going to seminars and by watching people and modeling the people who are excellent communicators in your life and in your organization will help you to solve other people's problems with them, not for them. It's important that you teach them how you solve them so that they can continue to do it themselves so they can be self-serving. But communication skills will help you have those difficult conversations and it will help you solve other people's problems with them. And the third way is excellent communicators are always great at one thing. What do you think it is? Do you think it's speaking to a group, having one-on-one -on -one conversations? They're good at those, and they might even be great at those, but they're even better at one thing in particular, which is listening. They listen much more than they talk. They listen to their team. They listen to their coworkers. They listen to their bosses. And they listen 80% of the time, and they talk 20% of the time. Great communicators listen to what people want. They listen to what people need, they listen to what problems people have, and the 20% that they are talking, they're helping to guide them through those problems and wants and needs. If you found these communication strategies useful to you, then the next video I want you to watch is right here. It's called How to Be Confident All of the Time. And it's important for you to watch this because the way that you show up on a daily basis for those that you work with in your career and organization will determine your overall success in that area.